A break from federal politics this week and a quick look at the iniquities of the state, the Premier's state, or at least the first state, New South Wales, where Barry O'Farrell continues to break pre-election promises. Most of them he blames, of course, on the previous Labor government, but the most recent one he can't. And this is the broken promise to negotiate a particularly squalid deal with the Shooters and Fishers Party. Because he's decided he wants their votes, Barry O'Farrell is allowing these sociopaths to assuage their bloodlust by blasting at whatever moves in Australia's and New South Wales national parks. Now, of course, that's not quite the way he puts it. Preposterously, he says it's a conservation measure. The shooters will eliminate vermin, pests. They'll knock over the feral pigs, the foxes, the dinosaurs, the saber-toothed tigers, the rampaging mammoths, all those foreign invaders who threaten our own wildlife. And our own wildlife will be absolutely safe because every one of them can tell a fox from a quoll at 200 metres. Of course, the shooters have nothing against knocking over the odd native animal if they get the chance. A kangaroo cull's always good. Or there's the duck season, in which everything even vaguely duck-shaped is removed from the air. Of course, this can't be sold as a conservation measure. Instead, a new fable has to be invented. So we hear of the atavistic provider, the father who goes out fearlessly in all weathers, risking all dangers to put fresh meat on the table of his family. Well, not quite. Your traditional hunter actually hunted on foot. Your modern hunter uses a four-wheel drive imported from West Germany. He is hardly an independent character, being barely able to change the tyre on this vehicle, let alone make it from scratch. And, of course, he doesn't make his own weapons either. He prefers to use a high-powered rifle made overseas as well. In fact, calling him self-sufficient is a load of nonsense. He's no more self-sufficient than the housewife who buys her meat from the butcher and a good deal less pleasant to know into the bargain. So let's get this straight. Let's stop worshipping the hunters. Let's stop making excuses for them. Let's stop pretending that they're anything but what they are. Men, and they're overwhelmingly men, who enjoy killing animals with guns. And the rest is bullshit. I'm Mungo McCallum.